Good morning, everyone. Good morning, class six. I think this is our first video lesson of the year. So hello, how are you all doing? Today, we're going to be looking at the first poem from our poetry section. It's a wonderful short poem called Beauty. And though it's very short, there's a lot in there to unpack. So let's get right to it. Let's open our textbooks. To beauty. Yeah. The name of the person who wrote beauty is, look at that, maybe a bit difficult for all of us to say, but her name is Eeshur. Let's try and say that again, Eeshur. And Eeshur was from, well, this part of the world, if you recognize this, it's North America. She was from the United States of America, and she was from around this part of the United States of America, the Southwest. And her history is very, very interesting. She is what we today would call a Native American poet. Now, America has a very, very interesting history. If we remember, the people in America today mostly speak English. Now, how did that happen? Remember, England, where English as a language was born, is all the way over here, the United Kingdom, England. So how do people living in America speak English? Well, it's because a long time ago, some people from England sailed across this ocean, which you should know as the Atlantic Ocean and went to America. And in the beginning, it was just a few people, but over the years and over hundreds of years, many, many more people came over here and they took over all this land. But it was not empty land before they came. There were already people living there, right? We often hear that Christopher Columbus discovered America and things like that. But the thing is, when Christopher Columbus came from Europe, there were already hundreds and thousands and millions of people living in America. People who we now call Native Americans, right? That's an interesting word. A native means someone who belongs to a place. So, for example, uh, you may be a native of Breswana or Cherot or Pashola or whatever. I am a native of Bangalore. So people who lived in America originally were called uh, Native Americans. And a lot, a lot of Native Americans uh, still live in the USA. And they spoke many different languages, but I think all of them now speak uh, English. So E. Eshur is was a Native American poet. She belonged to a tribe called the Pueblo. And the Pueblo tribe originally came from this part of America. And this is where she grew up. Now you can see that it's a bit brown. And when we see brown on a map, that usually means that it's a desert. This city with the strange name over here, Albuquerque, is where she grew up and where she lived. And we can actually go in and see what kind uh, of a place it is. Maybe some mountains over here, but mostly flat, mostly like a desert. And we can do something very interesting on Google Maps. We can actually go and put ourselves on this road and see what it looks like. Yeah, so this is the kind of place where Eashore would have grown up. These are the kinds of things that she would have seen. Very, very different from what a lot of you are used to, very, very flat uh, ground. You can see some mountains in the distance, but mostly very flat, not many trees, quite dry. So this is where Ia Shur grew up. And this is where she wrote a lot of her stories and her poems. And the poem that we are going to read today, Beauty, she actually wrote it when she was only 13 years old. And before we start reading it, I want to give you a little introduction to this poem. Let's all do a little bit of thinking. When I ask you to think of something beautiful, what do you think of? 
want you to close your eyes and I want you to picture something beautiful. Right? You probably have a picture in your head. Or let's even go one step further and say, let's close your eyes and I want you to think of somebody who is beautiful. Right? You probably have some image in your head of this is what beautiful should look like. Everything else, not beautiful. But this picture that I have in my head, this is beautiful. Right? And we all do this. We all think that some things are beautiful and some things are not beautiful. E. Asher says, no, this is all. It's a very silly idea to have. Everything that we see around us is beautiful. Everything. It's not just the one picture of beauty that we have. No, every single thing that we have in our daily lives, that we see every day, that we hear every day, all these things are beautiful. And let's see how she says it. Let's start reading this poem together. Beauty is seen in the sunlight, the trees, the birds, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. Beauty is heard in the night, wind sighing or rain falling, or a singer chanting anything in earnest. Beauty is in yourself, good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work, and even in your rest. So straight away, let's see that she's not saying that beauty is great grand buildings. Beauty is pretty colorful flowers. Beauty is uh, a person who looks a certain way. Beauty is people who can sing beautiful songs. That's not what she's saying. She's saying beauty is seen in the sunlight. Something simple like that. The trees, the birds, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. You know what harvest means, right? We all know that harvest is when you collect the crops. And just like um, in your villages, when Lethri happens, there is a lot of dancing and music and singing that happens. In her culture as well, Harvest is very important and people dance. And you all probably noticed that on Lethri, when people dance, it's not some, it's not what we would think is beautiful dancing. It's fun. People dance to have fun. And that's what she says. This is beautiful. Even the people working are beautiful. Even the people working in the hot sun, sweating with old dirty clothes, even they are beautiful. Then she goes on to say that beauty is not just things we can see. Beauty is heard in the night, wind sighing, rain falling. These are things we don't even have to see. We close our eyes. We hear wind blowing almost like it's sighing, rain falling. These are beautiful. Or a singer chanting anything in earnest. Chanting, that's a new word. That's a great word. To chant is to repeat the same thing over and over again. That's chanting. We do it when we're praying, right? If you're in a mandir or a masjid, especially when you have a zikr, when people in the masjid do zikr, they're chanting, they're repeating the same thing over and over again. And... They are doing it in earnest, another new word. Earnest means from the heart. I want you to underline this word. A singer chanting anything in earnest. Now you should notice that she is not saying a singer singing very beautifully. It doesn't matter whether it's uh, you're singing the correct notes or your tone of voice is very beautiful. She's saying that, no, if you sing from your heart, if you do anything from your heart, that is beautiful. And then in the third stanza, she goes away from the outside world. She goes into yourself. Beauty is in yourself. And where is it? It's in the good deeds that you do. It's in the happy thoughts that you think. 
And these good deeds and happy thoughts, if they, if you do them over and over again, you are creating beauty simply by doing a good thing or thinking a happy thought. That is beauty. They repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work, and even in your rest. Now, you may have heard in school us saying things like, don't waste your time. You should be studying. You should do this well, she says. Yes, even in your rest, even when you are resting and you are thinking happy thoughts, whatever the happy thoughts are, whatever makes you happy, that is beauty. She is not saying that, oh, you should only think good thoughts and you should keep away the bad thoughts. She said, no, whatever makes you happy, think that and that is beauty. That's a wonderful poem that we have over here. So what I want you to do is I want you to read this poem again to yourself. Read it slowly. Don't be in a hurry. Send me a voice recording. Listen to me reading it. Send me a voice recording. And then after that, I want you to do one thing. I want you to go about the rest of your day, but I want you to pay attention to everything that happens around you, everything that you do. I want you to think about everything in your day that you find beautiful, whether it is a, a bird singing or whether it is the sound of water flowing or whether it is your little brother or sister or your grandmother or your grandfather or um, some stick that you found interesting or a leaf that's nice or a flower whose smell you think is interesting. I want you to think of everything that you find beautiful, okay? You have 24 hours from whenever you watch this video, count 24 hours. And within those 24 hours, I want you to take your extra notebook and I want you to make a list of all the things that you find beautiful. And then on Saturday, I mean, before that, whenever you're ready, I want you to send those things into me. And then on Saturday, we'll sit and we'll try and write a poem of our own about beauty in our own lives. But for this, you will have to be very dedicated in these 24 hours. You will have to notice, pay attention, write, and then send these things to me. I will also do it. I will also pay attention to the things around me and I will make my own list. And then hopefully on Saturday, we can sit together and we can write a great poem. I am going to read the poem one more time and then we're going to end. All right. Beauty by E. Yeshur. Beauty is seen in the sunlight, the trees, the birds, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. Beauty is heard in the night, wind sighing, rain falling or a singer chanting anything in earnest. Beauty is in yourself, good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work, and even in your rest. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you all on Saturday.